spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug. I mean, I, like I said, I don't really think. Yeah. Spark plug, spark plug, spark plug. Spark plugs, spark plugs, spark plugs, spark plugs, spark plugs. 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 Ooh. Nice. Spark plugs. Welcome back to the carport, y'all. Spark plugs today. Do you have a previously appreciated, used, well loved, not new to you motorcycle? Have you changed your spark plugs? Have you paid somebody else to do it? Do you have a few miles on it? Because old Road King, she got, you know, 30 ish thousand miles, and I've never done it. So we're just going to assume it's never been done. Never been done. Yep, that's the assumption. Spark plugs from Harley. Here's your part number. Twin cam. Supposedly come pre-gapped. Always check them. You never know. Somebody may have dropped it or messed up. These little rings get you pretty close. If it looks cheap, it probably is cheap. This one here looks like it's better. So I'm assuming it's better than just the regular little chrome ones. However, proper, proper feeler gauge. get in there and actually check it. That's better than these. We're not race bikes. Do, 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 do. 0 .30, 0 .40. So let's start there. Ease up there close to 40. That's pretty snug. That one checks. Now on the twin cams, I always get told it's kind of like a V8 Chevrolet, Ford, whatever. You're looking for anything between 35 and 40. Preferably 38 to 40, but 35 to 40, you cut it. Back down here, 30. Wiggle it up there close to 40. And stop a little short. We'll call it 36, 37. So we we'll give it just a little bit wiggle. Yeah, right there looks good. Has come off. Yep, sure does. Let's go back on. Not quite. So we go back down again. Wiggle it up there. Come off. Come straight off. Go back on. There we go. Let's get the old ones out. Oh, and uh, you know, hit the like, subscribe, that kind of crap. If you don't mind. If you don't want to, that's fine too. It's free. I mean, you don't have to do nothing. You can just keep doing y'all. I'd be okay with it. I mean, you know, I mean, I appreciate it. But I, you know, I want to ask, but I don't want to ask. Y'all know what to do. Remove your boot. Pull straight up. <clears throat> now, if your boot comes up off the wire itself, no big deal. Actually, Kind of better because that way you can get down here and get a real good grip. Good purchase here to pull it off. Would this be a good time to replace your wires? Yep, sure would. 5 8 spark plug socket. You can tell. That way you can get a wrench on it. Slide it down in the hole and if you need to, you can put a wrench to it. But we got room. Off, please. Uh, on carbureted, I would say that that's running a bit lean, but today's fuel injection, it's kind of hard to tell just by looking at the spark plug. It's definitely been in there for a while. 
They say with the new fuel injection, you know, they lean out a little bit at lower RPMs and easing around town when you're not in it. <clears throat> then when you ask a lot for it, it pours the fuel to it. Six bucks, we're replacing it either way, doesn't matter. Now what come out of there was NGKs, so it was definitely changed before. Because there's a, there's the new plug and NGK, there's the old plug. Now I don't know if it's right or if it's wrong, but I like to put just the littlest Deebitus, dabitus, idiest, bittiest bit of anti seize. And remember, if this thing touches your skin, you will look like the Tin Man from two drops. And if you had a bore scope, now would be an ideal time. To drop your bore scope down in the hole, inspect your upper cylinder. I like to run mine in and out a couple of times with the threadlock with the anti seize on it. Just to make sure everything gets coated real nice. I messed up and put mine on the wrong end of the threads. We'll do right on the front side. Speaking of front side, jump cut to that. Alright, broke it loose. Screw on out of there. You really want a golden brown, like muffin color, right? Lilis. Littlest, idiot's bit. Just want to get some in the threads. Oh, fuck. Well. Can I thread a bolt left-handed? Do da, do da. Don't go overboard. These are steel and that is aluminum. Do not over torque your spark plugs unless you want to buy a new head. Okay. Return the spark boot. Now they make, you can get dielectric grease to go on the ends of these uh, plug wires. Not a bad idea either, especially if you live in a humid environment by the coast or something. Now an old school trick, find the open side of the strap here. You make your mark down the outside so you know where the open side of the strap is. And you wanna face that open side towards the valves. Or you can remove or add a few of these shims so that when you screw it in, that open side is facing straight towards the valves. Of course on a, <clears throat> On a V-twin, it's not a problem, right? So it's that way, right? All the valve crap is that way. So you face it that way. That way you get a cleaner burn on either side. One of the reasons you get burn on one side of the plug and not the other, because one side's facing the ex one side's facing the explosion and one side's not. So you get one that's a little darker, one that's a little lighter. It's because one side's facing the explosion and one side's not. Do I think it matters? Probably not. On a high horsepower race car, would it help? Probably so. Especially if you did all of them, if you had like a V8 and did all eight of them. Hey, the birds calmed down after I quit trying to talk to you guys. Well, not, they didn't shut, but they calmed the hell down. Anyway, y'all be safe out there. Take care of one another. Won't nobody else. Oh, wait, hold on.